time for some cold start action. Here we go. Boost juice. Sheriff drove right past me. Yeah, we gotta put this car away. But before the video continues, I wanna let you guys know that that huge exhaust leak that you're gonna see throughout the video, at the time I did not know that that's not how it's supposed to be. Turns out I'm missing this thing right here. So this is a valve seat for the tile and it didn't come with the wastegate, the tile wastegate. So I didn't even know at all that it's supposed to have it. Luckily KSR Performance reached out to me after I posted it on my story and told me that I'm missing this. I guess I'm missing about maybe 50 horsepower, but the car still felt very fast. So I'm gonna get to putting this on. So let's open the hood up real quick. That way we could get to putting that valve seat in and getting this baby started. This ring, let me show you guys, is actually supposed to sit in here like this. And as you see around this valve, there's a huge opening. See, I didn't know any of this. It didn't come with this, so I didn't know. But now you literally just sit it in and boom. As you guys could tell, the ring is completely closed. So that's where that valve leak was coming from. Now with this, we should gain the horsepower we're supposed to get in the first place. Although the car did feel fast this whole entire time, I guess it's gonna be even faster and it's not gonna be ridiculously loud with that open dump constantly on. So let's hear the difference of that dump tube without that valve ring and now with it. Bro, that's such a difference. Look at that, how it's supposed to sound. Now the fuel pump is louder than the exhaust. And so this whole entire video was filmed without that valve seat, a ring, and that's why it sounded like as if there's a exhaust leak. Just so that you guys are informed, the valve seat is now in place, but this whole entire video was filmed without it. Regardless, it's a banger video, so stay tuned. Watch the whole entire video towards the end. Yo fam, welcome back to another K5 video, and I know you guys are upset. I left you guys with the cliffhanger. If you guys missed the last video, we installed an upgraded wastegate on the Kia Optima. Basically, I forgot to tie down one of the oil feed lines, and a bunch of oil was spilling all over the exhaust and all over the frame, floor, and immediately had to shut the car off. At a point, I was like, yo, where is it spilling from? I tied everything down, and then I literally touched that bolt, and it was still loose. So luckily, it was a quick fix. I was very worried. I thought maybe the motor cracked, and a bunch of oil was spilling out from the bottom or something. You know, a little PTSD from the first time the motor blew on some Trash 3 setup. Oh! The car is running perfect. I tried it out. I took it out for a spin, I didn't record it. I wish I did because the craziest part was Sheriff drove right past me with my open hood. Donald Trump, if you can hear us. Loud ass exhaust. Please save me. And I was scared. Let's get these people away from me. Like this dude was going five miles per hour right next to me. I was just like, oh, this dude's gonna get me right now. So basically that bolt right about there with that little uh, Sharpie line I did was still loose, I never tied it down completely, so a bunch of oil was going all over the exhaust turbo. But I already routed the line as well that goes to the intake manifold, and we're pretty much ready and set to go and drive. All we need is to get that hood back. Remember, I sent the hood over to Crispy Concepts. He's getting that hood refinished. So look at this engine bay. This thing looks crazy. Should I paint the cover or not? I'm debating on if I were to, I really wanna do like the orange. Kind of like the RB26 motor covers. They're like a glossified orange. I would love to do that finish or maybe do a red to match the tile. But I don't know yet. You guys have to comment down below and let me know. But I haven't done a montage on this baby for quite some time now. So here we go. Three, two, one.
Now time for some cold start action. Here we go. We gotta add a little bit of methanol. I forgot about that. Oh, this car sounds so good. It sounds crazy. With that open dump now, that is wild. Boost juice, just gonna add a little bit enough for a little ride i know you guys want to hear this car rip these fluids moving this thing sounds crazy dude i'm sure if you were to connect that dump tube into your exhaust it's not going to be as loud but since it's just straight dump to atmosphere this thing is insane Sorry if it looks so dirty guys. I haven't watched this car in over a year and a half or two at this point. So I could barely see through actually. Little little pool, nothing major. All right, let's hear this baby. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, this thing is so freaking loud. The brakes, since it's been sitting for a while, the brakes aren't that good right now. All right, here we go. Right now, I think at 350. I literally just got it. Yeah, it's the wheel. It's front wheel drive. No, I barely just finished it right now. We're trying it out. Uh, wastegate upgrade. Yeah. You see any um or no? Not over here. Not right now. Okay, for sure. Hell no, not right now, dude. I just barely built it. So you just? I'm trying it out right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw it and I was like, oh, he probably has something crazy in there. <laughs> We're going to do a big turbo kit after we dial this in. What is this, 750? 750, yeah. Sick, dude. He's got a 600, right? 650. He has a 650 Ninja and my sister has a R6, R7. R7. I mean, I'll be down to run a bike with the bike. I'm down. We'll set something up then. Sure. I'm down. That's We're crazy. Running. You don't what? mind your own video? Do you, you have an exhaust system on it? Yeah, it's oh, like nice. everything. It does? Thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like, like open dump right now, just everything's out the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to watch? I mean, you could pull over here if I'm you want to watch. thing is vicious, dude. Dude, these are machine guns. Oh my god. I took it out the other day. I didn't think it was that crazy. Dude, that thing's insane. actually pulls now. Gosh, that blow off valve. Yeah, we got to put this car away. This thing is crazy. KSR Performance outdid themselves again. 
This is insane, dude. I want to go rip this car on the highway, but honestly, I'm too scared, especially with an open hood. Like, oh no, that's going to be way too much attention, especially out here in the gay state of California with them stupid ass laws. Yeah, I'm not down for that. Imagine state refing this the way, way it is right now. Oh no. Never felt the car be so responsive. It's insane. I love the way it feels like I feel like I'm not giving it 100%. I'm honestly giving it probably 50%, but I just feel like at 50, this thing is still going to be screeching tires. Like that moment when I was easing into the higher RPM range, I just felt like the car wanted to go and go, but I personally felt like, no, that's going to be way too much. KSR did tell me that this thing will shred tires and honestly just from 50 percent throttle it feels like it will but once we get the hood back on the car we're gonna take this thing out to mexico and see what it can do honestly i think this thing might give that baby a run for its money honestly i think if we were to put a proper set of tires like some 18 by 10 and some mickey tonsons or toyo proxies i think this thing will either be tied up or even creep on the stinger like this thing feels fast that thing is all-wheel drive and this is front wheel drive but my advantage here is i weigh almost 800 pounds lighter than that thing right there don't forget you guys i do have my spare wide body kit for sale and i'll do a combo if you get the kit you could take my wheels as well that way i could switch over to some drag radials and have this thing ready for the track because this is more of a street setup and I want to have a proper drag setup. So DM me if you guys want to wide body your Kia Optima. Come pick up the wide body. Get yourself some wheels that would fit perfectly with it. I mean, just look at the fitment. Don't forget the new license plate frames are here. KDM Mafia for the win. And get yourself some. Represent the KDM culture. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please go hit the like button. Also subscribe, you guys. I'll continue to put out these videos. We've hit 10,000 subscribers. Now let's get to 50 and we could get there with you guys. So let's do it. If you guys want to represent your KDM culture, go check the link below. Get something from kdmbuilt.company.site and represent. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.